Hello everybody, this is Jonathan from the Christian Science Informal Group, Huntington, West Virginia. Today I'll be talking about the discoverer and founder of Christian Science, Mary Baker Eddy. Here we have a photo of Mary Baker Eddy. She is the discoverer and founder of Christian Science, but we do not worship her. Mary Baker Eddy was born on July 16, 1821 in, I guess it's called, Bow, New Hampshire. She had a tough childhood. She was ill uh, throughout it a lot. And, and she was really devastated when her uh, brother passed away. But eventually... During adulthood, she would have a breakthrough when she had a nearly fatal fall. Uh, she, people thought she wouldn't be able to last after that fall, but she looked in the Bible and was inspired by the gospel and was healed. In April 1855, uh, once again, we read about uh, she was deeply affected by losing her son, and she was take and she was a semi invalid for much of the next six years. Once again, uh, a theme in Mary Baker Eddy's life is a struggle. Uh, you know, childhood, and then you know, in adulthood, she had some struggles. But of course, her life wasn't just a struggle. Here we have on the right the Christian Science textbook, Science and Health, We Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy. It is not on par with the Bible exactly, but it is part it is our textbook. And the first edition was founded on October 30th, 1875. She would go on to make 50 editions of this book. On October 26, 1881, uh, Mary Baker Eddy had another setback, major setback. Half of her association uh, challenged her and left the church. But we do see on the other side of the slide the Mother Church in Boston, Massachusetts. So, Christian Science Church is still intact, and it is not Scientology. Miss Sadie would go on to publish more than 60, 16 books besides Science and Health, as well as um, uh, including the Christian Science Sentinel, the Christian Science Journal, the Herald of Christian Science, and of course, she founded the Christian Science uh, newspaper. Uh, Christian Science Monitor. Before I go to the sources, though, it's it's important to study the life of Mary Baker Eddy because not because we worship her, but she she lived through the human experience too, and we can learn from her example. And these are the sources I got my information from. Christian Science official website, Longyear Museum, and the Britannica.